Hi there, my name is Sheila Beck, and this is Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So this is the uh, first in a, uh, quite a pro quite a possibly quite probably a uh, ongoing new segment on my channel. It's going to be called uh, Oh boy, that did not age well because Oh boy, that did not age well. So how did I come up with this? Uh, I somebody posted on social media somewhere this clip from uh, uh, Kelly Sue DeConnick, who's a comic book writer, uh, one of the comic book writers who has. Uh, destroyed the comic book industry. Now, um, that's not hyperbole. Uh, if you follow the comic book industry at all, you see that uh, DC Comics has uh, uh, fired m most of its editorial staff and are massively retooling. And basically, they're getting out of the uh, uh, the monthly comic book industry. You know, they're, and it's, it's essentially because the product that was being made uh, had lots and lots of political agenda shoved into it, and people buying comics just didn't like it much. So uh, again, this woman, uh, 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 Kelly Sue DeConnick. Uh, she's uh, she was on this video from 2017 saying, uh, "If you don't like my politics, don't buy my comics." That simple. Well, that's basically what happened, and and that's it. Yeah, and that's what burned down the freaking industry. So yeah, oh boy, that did not re uh, that did not age well. And then you know, in in a in a wonderful part, uh, you know, expression of uh, synchronicity, somebody at a point uh, posted this uh, thing we're going to be looking at right now, which is uh, Jodie Whittaker before she uh, uh, before her episode started airing, reading out uh, uh, tweets from fans who were let's say a little concerned about her, uh, you know, about her uh, her casting. I want to say for my part, at this point, I really wasn't. I really wasn't. I was excited. I was on board. I, I was worried for about the first three seconds after the reveal. It's 25 months ago today, I think. 25 months ago today, that reveal. I was, a bit, I was worried for about three seconds. And I said, oh, see, relax, mate. Relax. This is, uh, yeah. Well, first I was like, is this political correctness gone bad? And I was like, no, relax. You know, Chris Chibnall and uh, Jodie Whittaker are obviously seasoned professionals. They're certainly not going to... Uh, Phil Doctor Who with diversive, uh, uh, you know, diver uh, di diversive, divisive, divisive uh, uh, politics and uh, uh, ideology. Uh, uh, you, know, it, it, you know, just because she's a woman, no, that's just crazy talk. Uh, and I, I, that's honestly what went through my head. It lasted uh, like three seconds, and then by the time the, the the show started, I was totally on board. Anybody who was dismissing her out of hand, I uh, disagreed with, uh, and I wanted to see see uh, uh, you know what she did. Uh, and then uh, yeah, so the eggs all over my face because <laughs> they were all right and I was all wrong. So we're going to be looking at that in in a lot more detail. Firstly, before we get in there, can I ask you guys, can you hit that subscribe button now? will be fan freaking fantastic I'm like about 30 subscribers away uh, 40 something like that 30 40 subscribers away from hitting 1500 that would be fantastic thank you very much uh, listen I'm not gonna promise you I'm not gonna promise you untold wealth untold wealth will just fall upon you uh, if you subscribe I'm not gonna tell you that you will uh, develop a sexual magnetism that will be the envy of your of your friends and, and, and acquaintances I'm not gonna tell you that but it might. So why might that happen? Because, you know, it's uh, uh, Abraham. Abraham had the blessing you know, uh, upon him that anybody who blessed him, the, those two would, would be blessed. So I'm not saying you're going to become wealthy or, you know, any, any of your dreams are going to be uh, uh, realized by subscribing. But they might. And, you know, you know, incidentally, I have heard, I have heard like good fortune falling upon anyone who subscribed. Because, you know, he, you know, he who, uh, you know, uh, uh, he who blesses is himself blessed. So, uh, yes, can you hit the subscribe button? That will be fan dabby dozy. Thank you very much. I'm very, very grateful. If you subscribe, you can enter my competition. So this competition has been very popular. I always have an ongoing popular. This one's been really popular. So I'm going to extend it for uh, for another week. Because, uh, look, the reason I'm doing this is to get you to subscribe. So if it's been popular to people who have already subscribed, maybe be popular to people who have subscribed. But this has been popular. So, so Doctor Who Comics Bundle is the uh, uh, is the prize. You got Absolute Dark, Dalek Killer, Steve Dillon, Steve Moore. Freaking awesome, awesome book. Uh, this one. Uh, you have uh, this one, Polly the Glot, uh, by John Ridgway. I think also Steve Moore. Uh, beautiful artwork on, on that. I actually, I genuinely love that. You got this wonderful uh, book called Mark of Mandragona, cover by uh, Alistair Pearson, who was who was much more uh, well known for doing uh, the Doctor Who book covers, but he did uh, like a more of a cartoony style. We also have. Uh, this, the, the collected 10th Doctor and Martha 
comic strips. These are all from Doctor Who magazine. And finally, this one one. I mean, this is probably one of the best things. Actually, no. I think the other things are the best. This is a this is really good as well. Uh, Vorp, Vorp, a uh, magazine all about Doctor Who comics. So all you need to do to the win it is subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Being the important part from my perspective. Subscribe to the channel. And then in the comments, leave the hashtag of Vorp, Vorp. That's V-W-R-P, V-W-O-R-P. Go check the video notes. It will, uh, you know, have all the uh, uh, information. Just copy and paste, okay? You have to write, work out as well. Vorp, Vorp. Uh, I, I, I will be flummoxed as well. Okay, so fine. So now we've got past that. Let's, let's get into this thing. Uh, oh boy, that did not age well. So what did not age well? So I think in hindsight now, 25 months later, uh, uh, the, 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 the plan for Doctor Who uh, under Christian, under, under Jodie Whittaker was, was, was uh, very clear. So I'm going to say it in the way that they would like to say it. I think I'm going to, in, in that way it makes it yeah, harder for anybody to deny. I think they thought, look, Doctor Who's a great program. It's been taken to the heart of the viewing public. People love Doctor Who. Yeah, it's been, you know, the, the Capaldi Doctor has not been as popular as the David Tennant and Matt Smith ones. But you know what? The problem with Doctor Who is that we have a few problems with Doctor Who. Firstly, it's a bit old fashioned now. It's a bit out of date. You know, it's very, this lead is a white male. It's been a white male all the time. And listen, there's uh, this white male patriarchy uh, which has toxic masculinity running through it. We've got to get rid of that. We've got to take all of that out to make it more popular. Make it more popular and like, and so it's more diverse and people, more people can see themselves in Doctor Who. So the first thing they did is obviously we're going to cast somebody, a non, a non white male. As a, as a lead, that's the first. That's the first. Yeah, you know, piece of thing. We, 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 yeah, we're gonna do. Uh, uh, that didn't work out too well. That didn't work out too well because yeah, I honestly I think they cast Jodie Whittaker because she was just kind of there, and Chris Chibnall knew it. She just hasn't been good in the role, in my opinion. But yeah, the. Uh, the intent right there, and I think it's pretty clear, the Timeless Children, the Timeless Children, which was so uh, 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 divisive. So, uh, yeah, it, 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 it existed, in my opinion, I believe it existed to dilute the toxic white maleness of the character. Uh, and if you believe that, you know, the character is a toxic white male, you don't know anything about Doctor Who, but don't don't let that stop you. <laughs> yeah, don't let that bother you. Uh, yeah, don't get let, don't let facts and uh, reason uh, 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 you know, worry you. So, okay, so uh, so what's been the result of this wonderful experiment? Uh, uh, it hasn't been that good. It hasn't, it hasn't worked out that well. Uh, let's look at this little chart of the, of the ratings. This is the purple line uh, represents uh, uh, the season 12. Uh, from twenty nine, uh, from twenty twenty, I was going to say twenty nineteen, and um, the blue line above it uh, represents season ten, which was hitherto the lowest rated uh, season on Doctor Who since eighty nine. And by the way, if you go back uh, 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 to uh, twenty nine, according to Wikipedia, anyway, I, I am done like a deep dive in this. It appears to me only two episodes. Uh, got lower ratings than Jodie Whittaker's episodes. And they were Battlefield, two episodes in Battlefield, which was going up against uh, uh, Cor uh, Coronation Street and was hated by the BBC at the time. I mean, look, I'm just going to point out this one thing, which I normally do when I when I go into these, these things. Let's zoom, zoom in a little bit. Firstly, this little peak here that they have here that um, bucks the trend of uh, or failure <laughs> you know after failure this little peak they got here that's uh captain jack captain jack harkness uh that managed to whistle them up like an extra four hundred thousand viewers right so they put captain jack in and people were like oh yeah let's go see it he was in for two scenes uh noticeably quite a bit older <laughs> like bless him john barrowman but then you know the most disturbing bit is this here you know, we go uh, zoom in a little bit further just look at the trajectory. Uh, look, it got a bit of a, a, a bump as well when the side men were coming back, and uh, then oh, it's the lowest rated ever. Um, well, no, lowest rated in, in in the revival. So it's not popular. It's objectively not popular. It's just a a, a reality uh, to it. So another reality is the fans of this era, uh, uh, yeah, in in my experience, are uh, are crazy i i would say uh, if they're not mentally ill if they're not mentally ill they are both cruel and cowardly yeah cruel and cowardly um uh which is two things that really doesn't jive well with doctor who does it you know i i, I listen i saw this woman today it's crazy woman uh saying that a friend of mine no uh from the tardis zone has more has all these like fake twitter accounts that he uses to harass people so i, I asked her like why? Why do you think that? That's crazy. So they they will attack and they will do they absolutely say absolutely terrible things to you. And if anybody replies to them, they will then uh, uh, feign victimhood. They are cruel, 
I'm cowardly! I said, yeah, that's the only way to describe them, which I think is why this era of Doctor Who really, really appeals to them. But anyway, so that, that's what that's what we've got in the last 25 months. So let's go back to be, before when Doctor Who, uh, before this Doctor Who aired, when I was still optimistic. When I, I was actually even optimistic for season 12. I thought, oh, maybe they're going to pull it back together again. You know, maybe, you know, uh, but no. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was not saying. So that when they, when this uh, the clip we're going to watch, which is Jodie Whittaker responding to a uh, uh, Mean tweets, mean tweets about uh, uh, about our casting, which were mean. But I think, uh, yeah, we it, the, it, now you know when you watch it in context of the, a dislike of the traditional fan of Doctor Who, like a real dislike of it. The, the goal is to uh, to change Doctor Who to make it rather than a show for uh, you know for eight year old boys that appeal to pretty much everyone. They want to make it a show, sort of show uh, for eight year old girls that appeals to no one because girls, you know. Much that they want, they want, they really want girls to go into STEM subjects. We're going to be seeing that in the clip. Much they really want to influence them to go into sciences. Uh, girls, just generally speaking, don't want to do that, you know. And I, and they said, well, it's because of social conditioning, because they've been conditioned. Not no, no. There's no data to support that whatsoever. And, and the more uh, uh, they they attempt to to prove that, the more the more they disprove that. Yeah, again, Star Wars. I think Star Wars and, and uh, Doctor Who are, are are pretty similar in that they reorientated to be a girl's brand and the girls aren't interested in it they're generally speaking not that interested in science fiction and boys aren't interested because it's too girly and boring you know it's not it doesn't appeal to them so and again what's the result uh cratering ratings cratering ratings uh, so with all with, with yeah with all that that in mind let's let's turn on this little clip here this is jodie whittaker uh knowing full well that the plan is to uh uh, uh uh, take something away from those evil toxic males, those toxic males, and then give it to the world. Give it to and make 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 her uh, yeah make everybody so much happier. So we know the plan failed. Okay, we know the plan failed, but now we know the plan. It puts this uh, uh, you know this uh, this little one minute video into not the best light, and that's why it's a it's a prime candidate for oh boy that did not age well. Oh boy that did not age well. So let's start this off. It's going to be shit. I'm officially done. Bye, Doctor Who. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Whoever told you these faces are good, Jodie? Whoever told you these faces work? No. No. Okay, again, okay. that guy was uh, a dismissive of you. What you should have done. What you should have done rather than laughing at them. But you can't help but laugh at them because you love supping up those those uh, white male tears, right? That's what you love. You love you love eating and drinking those white fan, white male fanboy tears. So you can't help but laugh, but, uh, 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 but laugh at them because you know you're about to wrench it, wrench it away from them. And, and again, all you had to do was make good Doctor Who. All I had to do was be freaking good. But no, no, it didn't want that. That's the part of the equation you couldn't do. The reason you can't make Doctor Who, you can't make good Doctor Who, is, is because you don't like Doctor Who. And you don't understand why anybody would like it. So you don't know if you're doing anything good or bad. Like, I wouldn't know uh, uh, it, what is, uh, like, good soccer. You know, I don't really appreciate soccer. You know, so I, I couldn't tell you if that's a good game or a bad game. I'm a super normie there she she just doesn't really like doctor who so all right so okay fine so uh, the guy says I i'm not gonna win how are you gonna win, win, win? how are you winning them over you're laughing at him right rude <laughs> yeah, yeah no you're being rude okay if being rude is a bad thing then don't be rude okay again a good way to uh, maintain credibility is to uh assign the same standards to oneself as they sign to other people. If you don't do that, you are what's called a hypocrite. A hypocrite and, uh, uh, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's, a, it's not a very good thing to be. So let's uh, keep watching. Oh God, look at the arrogance on that face. It's, it seems very similar to me to the, the famous milkshake photo from the uh, comic book industry. Again, comic book industry is where Doctor Who's heading because BBC are not changing their, their ch you know, changing their uh, direction at all. People just not interested. Yeah, they did reach the practical problem that people weren't buying the merchandise and they need that revenue from merchandise. So they came up with uh, this thing called Tumblr Victorious, which was the, it basically, they, they, they muffed it. They, they, missed, they missed it up totally. But it was, you know, devoid of any current Doctor Who because, you know, they had the sales data. They had the sales data and they knew this, they knew, yeah, they knew what I knew. Because look, look at that. They knew that. That's what they knew. 
God, yeah, again, just a supreme arrogance. Like, I'm taking it away from you. <laughs> I want to drink your sweet man boy tears. That's so what's going on. Good, you've sold out to the PC squad and I'm female. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, wait a minute! Somebody, somebody's on the same place as me on the progressive stack, and then they haven't drunk in the, the Kool Aid with me. Oh, I gotta be derisive of them. So you know, again, I was, I, I like to wait and uh, to to see what people have done. Uh, look, the, the, this person just uh, 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 called it out. Perfect. Yeah, did they not call it? Yes, they totally sold out to the PC squad because they are the PC squad. <laughs> My like, who, who thinks? That, that was a good expression, I don't know. So okay. again. <laughs> son just pretend fainted with excitement. Yeah, exactly, that's what you want, but that's not real. That, okay, that guy is an outlier. But well, this is what happened, I'm again, I'm a father of four, four, uh, you know, boys are, you know, I would say masculine and femininity, femininity uh, uh, reveals itself from, from birth, from childhood. You know, it's not something that's imposed upon these kids. Uh, uh, but yeah, there's this, um, uh, this, again, this idea that men and women are, are identical. There's no difference between them. There's no difference between eight-year-old boys and eight-year-old girls. We can make some of our eight-year-old girls and boy, boys will continue to do it. No. No, so this kid, this kid is just a victim of terrible parenting. And will probably be, end up being one of the awful people that love this Doctor Who, that live on Twitter. They spend their, you know, they spend their lives looking at other people's lives so they can say, Oh, you're immoral! Yeah, that, this, yeah, it's just, I'm sorry, uh, at that nil guy, yeah, yeah, not. <laughs> That's not a good sign of good parenting. But an immortal, time-travelling, regenerating alien played by a woman, it just isn't realistic. So, yeah, again, so, you know, people were like, I, I yeah, people weren't really, I, I, some people were, were concerned that, you know, it just, it wouldn't work as a woman. I think it probably would have done had it some, had, had it been a woman who liked Doctor Who. You know, had it, yeah, and there are lots of women out there who like Doctor Who. Uh, uh, yeah, had it been somebody who liked and appreciated it, uh, I, like a Christian would have liked it, it really, it really could, could have worked. So they're taking the piss. Uh, uh, you know the the Victor Punetti. They're taking the piss out. Uh, yeah, out, out people who were saying, "Oh, this is not going to work." And again, all you had to do, not punch down, produce good Doctor Who. That's all you had to do. <laughs> Lots of folks who never cared about Doctor Who before are suddenly very concerned. Maybe. We yeah. Okay. So th is that something else I've really noticed as well. Lots of folk who. Um, uh, didn't like Doctor Who before. Have no interest in Doctor Who before. Now say they like Doctor Who. Again, these are the fans of the era who, did, who haven't really liked Doctor Who before and they are the fans and they, they, they're these the rabid fans. Uh, and, and I don't really even think they like it. I just think they like that uh, Jodie Whittaker is a lady and uh, who, who has a, a, a rainbow on, you know, on, on her chest. I mean, really, that should have been a bit of a giveaway for me as well. You should announce that climate change is a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, 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 uh, uh, and you. This is this is where they really brought in in, in uh, uh, season twelve, Autumn awesome fifty five. Autumn awesome fifty five was a story where I would have stopped watching had I not been reviewing it for you. Freaking awful! You know, you got to understand. Nobody, I think most people don't uh, have a problem with uh, climate change, with the idea of climate change. What they have a problem with is. Uh, uh, wonky science, disingenuous wonky science being used to uh, um, to justify tearing up a uh, uh, yeah a political, social, political, economic system and replacing it with one that's failed over and over again in every place that it's worked. So yeah, so maybe you call climate change female. Uh, it would be interesting. Now again, again, the reason uh, uh, that they. The, uh, uh, that there was more interest in because of women, because, you know, that's all that really mattered. That's all that really mattered, this production team. Fair point. Jamie Gillespie has added a lot of red angry faces. Oh, so good. So I could really, really drink his sweet man boy tears. You've ruined it. You know, uh, 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 as it turned out, he was right. As it turned out, he was right. You did ruin it. You haven't even seen me do it yet. Oh, okay, now we've seen you do it. It's two years later, and oh boy, did this did not end. This has not aged well, did it? Each sexist bigot threatening not to watch, there'll be a young girl with a new hero they didn't have before. No, okay, that is the lie. 
That is the lie. Because girls are, again, this is somebody who wants uh, uh, women, who wants their children to go into STEM subject, wants girls to go into science. And, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Generally, there, there are many girls who like going like that. Honestly, my niece, my niece is a freaking genius. She's like, she was working on nano robots and she reinvented the battery. Really? You reinvent a battery? I think you're pretty good at science and that, but I have no, nobody has any problem with uh, women going into science. Nobody goes, oh no, I don't want to have, uh, you know, anything from uh, <laughs> you know, Mary, Mary Curie. I don't know. I'm not, nobody, nobody has a problem in 2020, in 2015, in 2010 of a woman going into science. Nobody has any problem with it. What people have a problem with is, is women being forced to go into science and not doing what they would want to do, which is what you want, the Jody. Yeah, and you know, and I know it. Hashtag good riddance. Aha, hashtag good riddance. See, you see, and she's so on board with it, isn't she? She's so on board with it. Hashtag this is not age well. This is not age well. Hashtag Doctor Thirteen. Sam. Yeah, Doctor Thirteen could well be the last because this is an utter failure. Who is at? Well, have a have a better name, Sam, on Twitter. I can't even say it. He said ruined. <laughs> and again, nothing says ruined. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in on this face, okay? Really? I I, I think yes. I think you just proved him right, haven't you, Jody? Oh. Oh my god, I think that's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> it's gonna be the there's so there's so many options for the thumbnails on of this uh, video. <laughs> <laughs> oh your man boy tears are so sweet. I hope we we hang out sometime. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, you're not. No one's gonna hang out with you, Jody, because nobody's interested in Doctor Who anymore. Nobody's interested in Doctor Who anymore because you are not interested in making a television show. You wanted to make a platform. A platform. Yeah, in in closing, I I I, I uh I had a bit, a bit of an, an, an epiphany yesterday about what is the difference between a, a, a writer uh, expressing their, their worldview uh, and uh, a writer preaching, a writer preaching. Uh, because, you know, we're talking about Big Finish. Big Finish has gone horribly woke recently. Uh, we were comparing two releases from them. Uh, I'm going to be doing re reviews of their latest. But by the way, Six Doctor and Perry, avoid that box set. I listen to the first story. It is freaking awful. It's woke as hell. Um, but I think the difference is this, because uh, we were comparing uh, Nicholas Briggs' uh, uh, Humor Frontier, which is very, very woke. It could be very woke. It could be very woke. I don't think it was. Uh, and the other fair that has been like the Six Doctor Adventures, uh, Six Doctor and Perry Adventures, which well, the first story was very woke. So here's the difference. Here's the difference. I think when somebody presents their worldview and say, this is what I believe, you can... Take or leave it. This is me. This is a take or leave it. I, I, I'm just telling you what, what I think, right? That's fine. I don't think that's woke. I think that's legitimate writing. I think that's a writer legitimately trying to communicate uh, yeah, and express himself to the world. I think the difference is, I think when something goes woke, it's when they say, this is my view, and if you disagree with me, you are evil! You are evil, and you are just, you've been despised, and I want to drink. Drink your sweet man boy tears. So I think that is the difference between uh, uh, going woke and not. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, it, it's got to the point now where it, most people can't tell if someone's going woke or just being a, gen a general writer. So a lot of people are just, you know, abandoning ship, abandoning ship on, 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 on everything. Uh, why? Why? Because everything is boring and diversity filled. My name is Sheila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!